If you're here for marketing strategies, then let's do it, man. I am here for this. And let's just talk, by the way, about how you can simplify your marketing tactics so that you can get more eyes onto your business, take a little less of the workout. So let's get started. Hey guys, I'm Ambrosia Carey. I am a salon owner and a marketing strategy specialist in the beauty industry. I bring to you every single week a video that is either about marketing tips or I'm bringing hair videos. It's a nice little blend, if you will, and it kind of takes the overwhelm out if I do say so myself. And so today we're talking about the very sexy topic of marketing strategies and just how can you decide how you want to place your effort and time? Because sometimes we think about the fact that we're spending our time on something so that we're saving money with not having someone else do it for us. Sometimes we have to because we can't afford to have someone else do it for us, right? I've been in both of those places and I guarantee you there is a way that you can make this easy on yourself. My advice to you, or really to anyone that has a business, is to test out where you're getting the best reach, engagement, and just like getting your ideal clients in general before you come up with these marketing strategies. So sometimes you have to test what's gonna work best. Okay, that totally rhymed and I'm a child now. Um, <laughs> I'm totally distracted, what was I saying? <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes you have to test out what works best for what your purpose is. Like, what is it that you're trying to achieve? The reason why I enjoy marketing so much is because it is a deeper sense of where your why comes from. You probably have heard like, what's your why? What's your why? Well, a lot of it has to do with like, what's the intention behind what you're doing and what do you wanna get out of it? So that's a really great way of simplifying where your why comes from. It doesn't have to be this like, I want to move the earth and world peace or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get back to the subject of marketing. I really believe in the trifecta, which is a triangle process of three different platforms. And at least one of them has to be a search engine. If you're overwhelmed by posting all the time, then I would say do two search engines, one social media. Let me just explain this a little bit. I'm gonna rewind. All right, I'm gonna slow down for you. The problem is that a lot of people think that they need to be on one platform and do really, really well. And although that's not a bad thing, doing it really well and understanding it is the beginning of it, and that's where your strategy starts. So then when you start to get really well versed and comfortable with that platform, now you can start introducing another platform. So to take away the overwhelm, absolutely understand how a platform works and how you can get your reach the best and start to curate your audience and get to know it. I would say if you are a hairstylist, um, since most people that are watching this are hairstylists, but if you have a small business, let's say, and you really wanna grow your Instagram, great, awesome. But what is it that you really wanna focus on? Like, do you wanna get more clients through it? Then focus solely on getting more click-throughs to your website. So if you don't know what I mean by that, please say below because comment down and I will tell you all about that. And we'll do it in another video. Okay, so let's say you gave yourself a dedicated 30 days with Instagram and you were like, you know what? I'm gonna just give it my all and I'm gonna just try posting every single day or maybe that's a little overzealous. Okay, fine, I admit it. Maybe you say I'm gonna post three times a week and I'm gonna make sure that I get on Instagram during the day and maybe give yourself 45 minutes. Like I'm gonna get on and I'm gonna interact with people who are my ideal client and I'm gonna really get to know um, like how I like to use this tool. So that's step one. Step two, after the 30 days, you're like, okay, I'm getting this down. I'm figuring out what I like to do. I'm figuring out how much time I want to spend with it. Now I'm ready to figure out another platform. So your next platform might be a search engine. So the importance of SEO is that it's kind of like a keyword, right? So like think about Instagram, they have hashtags. Facebook has hashtags, Pinterest has hashtags, but Pinterest is also a search engine. So when it comes to optimizing your reach, now that you've put your 30 days into Instagram, I'm using that as an example, and you're saying, okay, I feel like I got this down, I know what I wanna do, don't let it stop there. Make sure that you're taking those posts 
and you're copying what you're doing on those posts. So let's say in that 30 day span, let's pretend that you were showing tips to your ideal client and you go through those posts and you see what those strongest, highest engaging posts are, or you see which ones lead to website clicks. Then you copy and you paste the, the copy, like what you actually wrote in those posts, and you take that and you copy that onto a doc, and then you copy and paste that into a blog post. Blog posts are really nice because again, it runs along search engine optimization. So search engine optimization is, uh, AKA SEO, is a way for people to discover you. The downside to Instagram is that people have to live on the platform. You have to rely on somebody actually being on the app which is designed for the phone, even though it has like, it is compatible with your computer. What's important to know is that on the app, you are attracting people who are also on the app. And the reason why you wanna choose what app is best for you, whether it's Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, the reason why you wanna choose that is because you wanna figure out where your ideal audience is. Can your ideal audience be on multiple platforms? Absolutely. But where is it that you feel fits you the best? Because more than likely, you're gonna attract people who you want to mesh with, who you, more than likely, you're going to attract people that you blend with that are similar to you. And so, if you like TikTok, then more than likely, your clients or ideal customers are on TikTok as well. So just play that game a little bit with yourself and see what feels best and it's gonna feel a little bit more organic and a little less forced that way. Now that you've taken the copy from your last 30 days and you go to your highest engaging posts or your highest click-throughs, you copy and pasted that onto a doc and then you curated a really beautiful blog post out of it. And my advice to you is if you're blogging, then you only need about 500 words to start out with. Before you post your blog, go through your search engine, AKA Google, and start typing in the search engine some ideas of what your title would be. This might sound a little strange, but just try this. And this might be something that is a refresher for you or you already know this, but this homework is very important because it will become the title that is going to be higher ranked. There's something really cool with Google that if you actually type in the search engine, let's say I am typing in eight ways of taking care of dry hair, but then on Google, the search engine starts to auto populate something else. Maybe it says dry hair, eight ways of care, something like that, right? It rhymes. I'm, I'm on a rhyming kick today, I guess. So when it comes to SEO, Instagram does have some SEO inside of it, and that would be the search engine when you actually look up a hashtag or you type something in and it starts to populate something for you, um, and you can see how many people have searched it, but it's very different than SEO, because SEO is on a larger scale platform, and that's kind of where like if you're typing in YouTube and it gives you some suggestions of what you might find. You're a lot more discoverable when you have a blog post, a podcast, a YouTube, and that's the reason why so many, so much energy is being put out inside of those platforms rather than it being so much inside of your Instagram. So I wanna change your frame of mind a little bit. Instagram is great, TikTok's important, all those things, awesome. If you like creating things, that's great. But don't stop there. Make sure that it becomes either the bigger content that you're going to create for something else that's gonna live on a larger platform. Before I go any further, let me explain the reason why I'm trying to em emphasize the importance. You're probably wondering, why are you saying it's so important to not be on Instagram so much and you have to be on other things? Instagram's posts typically are live for 24 to 36 hours but SEO runs for much, much longer than that. Pinterest, the average pin stays live for two years. The average blog post as well stays live for 18 months. Sometimes it goes up to three years. YouTube, it's going even longer because obviously now they've got subscriptions and stuff and people are spending a little more time on there, more regular basis. Like it's being subbed out for TV now. Like a lot of people don't even have like cable or whatever, they don't, they're not doing like subscription packages, they're just like watching like YouTube, right? So 
right now is a really important time to pour a little bit more of your energy and get a larger reach. And it doesn't mean that you have to be an influencer or you have to be a hair educator or you have to be a brand specialist. I think what's really important about all of this is this is a really awesome way to grow your business. The last and final piece, remember I was saying the trifecta. The beginning triangle is to get really clear on your intention behind one social media platform. I used Instagram as an example. You could totally do TikTok if you wanted to. The, the second piece is to take the copy and use a blog post. You're gonna do a little bit of homework for this search engine to see what populates for you for a really good title. And then you're gonna take that exact same information and you're gonna use Pinterest. So you can totally take videos that you've posted already on Instagram. You can take the covers that you made for videos. You can like make your own covers if you wanted to and put those on Pinterest and only with the title. Like you can literally put the title on Pinterest and have the link going to it. And people will either discover you through it. That's where you wanna link your blog post. It's really important to link your blog post. But if you want people to discover Discover your Instagram through there, awesome. Obviously, like if you're a business, one of the biggest pieces of all of this though that I haven't even mentioned yet is if you have a business that you're trying to grow and you have a website, you want to funnel everything back to the website. Your Instagram, you wanna get click-throughs. Your blog posts, you wanna go straight to your business and it gets attached to it so that there's SEO running for your business. And then for your Pinterest, you also want SEO running to get people to discover your business. This is an awesome way to have affiliate links set up and to sell products through or to have people purchase videos if you have like tutorials that you wanna do. There's definitely so much to this, you guys, and I don't wanna overwhelm you, so please, please comment below. Let me know what is making sense to you, what confuses you, what overwhelms you. Um, tell me even what platforms you like to use and maybe if you need to know more about it specifically for our industry, right, as a hairstylist or salon owner, then I'll focus on that. I'll make a video just for you. So definitely let me know. Make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell so you get a notification every single Wednesday when I drop a new video your way. This week, obviously, we're talking about marketing strategies, and I hope I simplified that for you. Just focus on three things, guys. Otherwise, you're gonna get so burnt out and overwhelmed. And make sure that you're creating material that you can actually use in other platforms. Next week, we will be going back into the hair world. This is the final and last piece of a color melt that I did from the Air Touch video. If you missed the Air Touch video, I will go ahead and link that up here so that you can check that out and then you can jump right back in next week and just pick right back up where I left off and you can see how I did the root melt and I will also give you the formulas that I used as well if that helps you. Thanks so much guys for hanging out with me and I have a challenge that I'm actually gonna give myself and I want you to hold me accountable. Remember what I was saying about the 30 days on Instagram? I wanna give myself 30 days on TikTok because I don't know why. I just can't do the ticky tacky. <laughs> it's like so hard for me. I think it's just because I don't quite get it and it's like I'm so comfortable with Instagram and that is not okay. Like I need to get uncomfortable again. So I do wanna try out Instagram. I definitely am gonna focus on the marketing materials there so that I can give you guys some short form videos and just like little edible pieces. Sometimes these longer YouTube videos can be a little overwhelming, so I'm gonna do little short bits on TikTok. And maybe it'll inspire you to see like, okay, this is how she's doing things. This is how she makes time for this and still is able to run a couple of businesses and still travel and all that too. So I wanna show you guys how to take the hard work out and I want you to be successful, like whatever that means to you, but I just want you to have lots of options because this is a pretty amazing industry and you don't have to make all your money behind the chair and you can do as much as you want or as little as you want and that's the best part about our industry. Anyway, I'm going on a rant, you guys, so it's so good to talk with you and thank you so much for hanging out with me and I will definitely see you next week. Take care and good night. Mm -hmm.